I just today's video I just wanted to go over some uh, some opportunities that traders have uh, in our toolbox to uh, make money in a market while it's pulling back a bear market a market crash uh, basically uh, assets that ETS inverse ETFs that you can make money on while the market's pulling back uh, they have a way of re reevaluating themselves overnight so they are short-term traders uh, you can do some short-term swing trades but you can make the most out of them by staying active in your trading but you can just buy and hold uh, and make money as long as you have a consistent trend with the market so if the market's in a consistent downtrend a few of these are bullish ETFs but I'm going to talk about the reason why they're out explain the reason why they're on the list when we get to them uh, some of these are two and three times so a lot of people uh, kind of misinterpret that so let's say we're shorting the SPY or the S&P 500 the S&P 500 uh, you know pulls back one percent in a day's time a two times uh, bearish ETF is normally supposed to move two percent sometimes they actually move a little more so if the if the uh, S&P 500 moves one percent this is this asset is supposed to move a uh, two percent a lot of these are a lot cheaper and like I said they have a way of reevaluating themselves overnight so in order to uh, hold on to the the major the the percentage is one like the majority of them it's just best to move in and out of the trades uh i i'm one i always say stay active in your trade you'll make more money uh this is drip drip is the uh two times bearish uh oil and gas sector the liquidity is not that great in that one for options i will will say that uh, but you can buy shares but it's not the best liquidity for options fngd this is the micro sector this is a bearish three times leverage for the micro sector for the smaller stock so if you know as a whole they are crashing you can come in purchase these and uh, make money these will push up I have traded that one i like that one Gush, this is the bullish uh, oil and gas exploration sector two times versus drip is the bearish. So this is the other side of that. Uh, this has better liquidity. It's the reason why I have this on the list because this does have better liquidity. For one, you can buy this right now with oil going up and make money. Uh, but this does have better liquidity. So instead of opening calls on drip, you would be better off if you're trading with options to do puts on uh, gush if oil's pulling back you know if oil's pushing up gush is where you want to be labd uh, this is the bearish biotech sector three is three times so if the biotech sector moves one percent in a day this should move three uh, it's not always perfect and sometimes you actually get more you can see this is trying to uh, break out of resistance here or so this actually has broken out of resistance so in this case it's going to be all about follow through what will we see monday and that's the case for a lot of charts look we had a huge move down uh yesterday in the market no buyers to be found uh it's all about the follow through labu so this is the bullish side of of the labd uh the only reason why this is on the uh list is because the options liquidity is better on the side i actually like trading this uh when moving up uh, you can also trade puts on it and so this is actually uh, the liquidity is better in the options on this side to trade puts on this if you're looking for an options play than what it is called for labd but if you're looking for shares to buy a uh, buy rate out labd if the biotech sector is pulling back labu if the biotech sector is pushing up or you know an options play for puts on lab labu would be better uh, spxu this is a one of my personal favorites definitely one of the discord's personal favorites they they love this thing and they do very well with it 
a nice big candle yesterday as the market was pulling back you know this is a much cheaper asset to trade with options uh you can actually you know we talk about buying time so you can you can buy time with this still and still be fairly cheap very good asset to trade very tradable uh like i say the discord loves this thing and they, they do very well with it so it shorts the s p 500 This is PSQ. This actually is a short for the Qs. Q, 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 Q. You have a inverted head and shoulders down here, just like you just happen to have a or a head and shoulders top on the Qs. You have an inverted head and shoulders here. So this is one to watch. Uh, I don't know how the liquidity is in this one with the options. You want to check that before you start you know uh trading options with it but it's definitely an asset that you can make money with with shares uh not everything's always has to be about options i know you know we all love options they make more money and i mainly uh trade options or like small cap runners gap and goes i don't trade many shares of anything else anymore except for earning scalp stuff like that but there's other ways to to invest and there's other ways to make money in the market it's not always have to be about options uh, and we have members who are trading uh, for 401k accounts and stuff like that so there's still opportunities so we have an inverted head and shoulders down here definitely one to watch you know a thir 13 dollar asset you can you know uh even with a small account trade that so you have sark this is basically a short for innovation uh or you know arc sark short for innovation uh, you can see it's wanting to break out above the 50 here moving on about some decent volume yesterday got above the 50 this is definitely one to watch you can draw a downtrend right through here and you can also see the downtrend has been broken So you can see right there your downtrend has been broken you can see the channel and the little channel it was trading in but broke out up above resistance here hopefully this 50 will become support uh, well i'd prefer the market to push up but I, I gotta be honest it's all about making money to me it doesn't really matter which way the market moves i can still come in here and trade and make money every day and there's assets for you to make money every day as well sds this is a another s p uh a short you can also see kind of inverted head and shoulders here not textbook you don't really have the volume uh, but the market's light on volume right now so it's hard it's hard to find a proper uh because your volume characteristics has a big deal is a really big deal with uh head and shoulders toppings and inverted head and shoulders bottoms but the market's been so light on volume that really has not you know it's hard to to, to, to see volume coming into things to confirm things right now uh sox sox this is a three times bearish for the your semi decoctor semi conductors etf so if the semiconductors are pulling back this is moving up i like soxl as well trading that uh why the semiconductors are pushing up you could also open puts on that one i think your liquidity is a little better in the soxl as well you can see it trying to push up take out resistance xp xs this is another s p 500 three times bearish etf uh, once again you can see a rough inverted head and shoulders down here either way we're breaking back above the 200 so we could easily push up if we get good follow through we can push up into the 50 there there could be almost a two dollar gain on a 20 percent stock that could be a 10 percent move make sure you're locking in your profits up with these uh s you know this is sqqq just about everybody knows what this one is uh this is it's a a short for the for qqq uh tech basically once again the q's has a uh head and shoulders pattern top topping pattern you have an inverted head and shoulders here barely holding that 200 you know 
Monday will be a big deal. If we can confirm over this 200, same thing. You know, I can see a push up to a previous fail, which puts us right about where this 50 is. Uh, and not saying we can't go higher, but we should be able to move through there. If the market continues to pull back, we were moving on volume. If we get follow through, confirm over this 200 and see some follow through, that's definitely one that, that can be watched. TBT. This shorts the 20 year. So TLT, uh, this is actually the short for TL for TLT, which is a uh, the 20 year we watch. Uh, TECS, this is another technology. So just like the Qs, you know, you were shorting the Nasdaq or the Qs. This is for the technology sector. Uh, so uh, XLK is what it basically same thing. And you got the same pattern down here. I actually like the volume on this this one a little bit better. A little more confirming volume here on the move up, volume there on the move up. Uh, seeing some volume here on the move down in the shoulder a little better. So inverted head and shoulder pattern here. TSLQ. This is new. I, a lot of people probably already know about this i'm sure there's people that don't but this is a short for tesla so if tesla is moving up you can afford to bet against it for 39.79 a share uh tza this is one for small caps basically this is the uh, inverse for the iwm it is three times if the iwm moves one percent this should move three in theory it's not always perfect. UVXY, I talk about this a lot. Uh, when the VIX, like right now, the VIX is, is pumping, uh, you could buy uh, calls on UVXY to make money, or if the VIX is pulling back, you can buy puts on UVXY. Uh, you can see the pattern here, how it follows the VIX fairly closely. You can see the VIX has been in a downtrend, breaking out, trying to push. VXX, this also follows the VIX. Uh, I like UVXY better. And that concludes our video. I hope, I hope you guys find this helpful and this helps you make money in, in the markets. Uh, have a great weekend and I'll see you in the trading room.